Hi everyone, welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. Scientists aim to improve forecast by flying above atmospheric rivers. The term atmospheric river may sound airy and ethereal, but these massive, fast moving, drenching storms can hit as hard as a freight trains. Since December, the United States West has been slammed with the back to back atmospheric rivers, the most recent one deluging the state March 15th, and another forecast to hit the state in the coming weeks. These powerful streams of water vapor arrive with strong winds, heavy rains and thick snow spawning flooding, landslides and avalanches. Big as they are, these storms are surprisingly tough to see coming. The week's warning is about the best forecasters can do now. A team of scientists is trying to change that. In just the past few months, they have flown more than three dozen reconnaissance missions into the storms. They have launched the dozens of the weather balloons high into the stratosphere, each carrying instruments to measure the temperature, moisture, air, pressure and wind. And the scientists have crunched the rims of the data and run hundreds of the computer simulations all to forecast when the next atmospheric river is going to arrive and how intense it's likely to be. The goal of the effort, the team says, is to improve predictions to give the people in the storm's path more time to prepare for the flooding and ultimately to find ways to manage the water for the region's drier months. It's a big task particularly during the year's seemingly relentless barrage of the storms. In just December and January, nine atmospheric rivers hammered the western United States and Canada relentlessly, dumping record of the rain and snow across the region. Over 121 billion metric runs of the water fell on California alone, according to the United States National Environmental Satellite Data and Information Services. And this task is likely to become even more challenging given the lingering uncertainty over the how atmospheric rivers will shift to intensity and frequency as the planet continues to warm. While atmospheric rivers can bring welcome water to a parched region, they also are primary, almost the exclusive cause of the floods on United States. To improve their forecast of the landfall and intensity, the team collects data from the drifting ocean boys, weather balloons and airplanes. The group even enlisted the aid of the United States Air Force's hurricane hunters most famous for flying into the eyes of the tropical cyclones from June to November to do the aerial reconnaissance. Satellites can provide valuable atmospheric data over the ocean, but they generally can't see through the clouds and heavy precipitation both characteristic features of the atmospheric rivers. And the atmospheric rivers hang low in the troposphere, the lowest part of the Earth's atmosphere, making it even harder for the satellites to spy on them. During each flight mission, the planes drop instruments called dripstones that collect temperature, moisture, wind and other data as they fall. Since November 1, the hunters have flown 39 missions into the atmospheric rivers. The United States West atmospheric rivers tend to arrive from January through March. But that's not really the start of the atmospheric river season in the region. And atmospheric rivers make landfall in the Pacific Northwest earlier in the year in the late fall. One such storm devastated that region in November 2021, spawning a deadly series of the floods and landslides. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.